The last few times I've used my jointer, I've run into a problem. The safety guard is becoming disengaged halfway through the cut. It just loses its spring and doesn't return back over the blades. Here's an example. The guard returns as it should in the first pass. But on the second pass, the spring has failed, leaving the blades exposed. You can see that my guard is the old style of guard. And I'm aware that there's a new style that has the featherboard built in. But I've been avoiding making that upgrade because, well, it is an expense and the old guard was working just fine. But I think when you have a piece of safety equipment just sort of failing on you mid-cut, it's time to replace it. In this video, I'll install that new guard. A new quill feed lever system arrived in the same shipment. I'll install that at the very end of the video. I'm one of those nerdy types who reads the manual. Everything you see me do in this video is directed by the instructions. I'm just about done with the install. Up next, I test the new guard out on some scrap 2x4. I start by face jointing one side. Now I'll set up to joint an adjacent edge, keeping the freshly jointed face against the fence. That's square enough for me. The instructions describe how to use the guard while making rabbits on the joiner. So I give that a try now. looks pretty nice. Well, I'm really happy with the way that new guard works. I actually feel a lot safer. It's nice that it pushes the workpiece against the fence so I don't have to. I can just concentrate on moving the piece across the jointer. The reason the old guard uh, was failing is this spring here is very bent out of shape. Um, I've tried to work it back into shape several times now it, it just it just keeps failing. I suppose I could try to source a new one of these, but I think it was a good opportunity to upgrade to the new guard. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you feel I've earned it. And for anyone interested in the quick index quill handle, feel free to stick around.